Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I am going to teach you how we can uh, simulate flow over a cylinder. First of all, we go and click on flow end. So there we go. We have file uh, for geometry and mesh. I have downloaded a mesh file uh, from a uh, from a site, and I will put that uh, download file. Uh, the link of download file uh, so you can download it and use it uh, and let's go import the mesh file cylinder.msh there we go and now i'm going to click on edit so it's 2d uh, i'm going to run it serial and we can run it parallel too, but it's not uh, it's not too long. So I'm going to run it in 2D4. So as you can see, we have the mesh file. It's a cylinder in here, and there we go. We are going to run it. Okay, first of all, um. Uh, our solution is going to be on uh, transient in general we are going to general and we click on transient so and other uh, put other ones to be in default form is planner absolute and pressure based okay then after that uh, it's about the models we are going to run it as laminar so uh, we will leave it as the things are so the next part is for material and uh, the default material is airs as you can see and i won't change it because i wanted to have the air as a default fluid if you want to change it uh, I will show some uh, tutorials about this and the uh, differences between uh, air and some other fluids Then after that we have the cell zone and uh, it's about the materials too uh, as we haven't changed the material okay we will leave to be default okay the next part is the most the very most important part it's about the boundary condition so there is the setting of boundary condition we will change them uh, before we change it uh, i'm going to show that uh, what are these uh, for far field one far field two far field three and far field four okay uh, if we uh, click on the mesh file uh, it shows which one is it okay as you can see the front wall uh, is about uh, far field one top part is far field two bottom wall is about far field three and the end wall is far, far field four and cylinder is the cylinder and it's the entire the green one is the entire okay let's change them far field uh, and we are going to change it um, we have saved the mesh file and far field one as a wall okay we will have a flow so we can't have a wall so here we go we change it to to velocity inlet then we put the velocity specification method on components. There we go. Okay, we will uh, put numbers to here, foot amount, and later. Okay, it's about far field one next. Far field two is again velocity and lift. And there we go. Far field three is velocity and lift components. Okay. And far field four is 
uh, forfeit for is pressure outlet so uh, the the default ones will be set for our problem we won't change it at all okay now we are going to put amount for our velocity inlet we can put them okay we will have flow uh, on each stretch instead of each stretch um, let's put it for 80 meters per, per second for part field 1, part field 2 and part field 3 okay and uh, now we have set our boundary condition settings the next one is reference value we compute from uh, far field 1 and change area to 2 reference zone is fluid okay the next part is for methods we are going to run it as piezo on click this part and the other ones let's put them on default list square on cell base second order second order on print and yes there we go and this next part is for control uh, it's okay we won't change it Next part is for um, for report definition. Uh, the default one will plot the uh, continuity uh, as it runs, um, but if we want to have a drag and lift coefficient to be plotted uh, when it is running, uh, so uh, we will click on report definitions, new, force report, drag. I will change the name to drag. Okay, and we will. I will click on cylinder report file report plot and then OK. The next one again new force report lift. Then cylinder report file and. The next part is for monitor. We have created lift and drag. Click on drag file. It's this and it's okay. I'm checking them and yes. Report plots. Drag file and yes, it is. It's true. And lift. It's okay. The next part is for initialization. We will compute from far field one and then initialize this part. Uh, if you if you want to have a, uh, an animation at the end of our simulation, we have to um, change the setting of these calculation activities. I will click on them and I will write one. And so I complete this part too. And the last part is for run calculation. Um, I will change the I will change the time step to 0 0.01. If you want to have more accurate one, uh, you can change it in I don't know to 0 0.001, and you can change it, and you can see the results and number of time steps I will put it to 300 and then calculate uh, 
Okay. As you can see, uh, we have three windows here for lift flood as I defined and drag flood as I defined and the residuals as it is. So. It will take a while, I will stop recording right now and when it is completed, I will show you the results. As you can see, the calculation has been completed. Click on OK. It's the residuals. Drag plot and lift plot okay now i will go to results and then i will update the results then we will click on results Okay. In this part, we are going to have our uh, animation and contours, and it is our post processing. First of all, contour and uh, location symmetry one uh, variable, it will be velocity u, then velocity and then apply yeah it is our contour uh, we can uh, increase the numbers of contour to 100 yeah it is a better one uh, it is a control of velocity in this part you can See the other times, uh, for example, 63. In this one, it is like this. Okay, and next part is for animation, time step, and and it is our animation. I'm going to stop it right now and you can have your animation and, and the next part in the next part I am going to define a streamline okay and on the main yes fully and apply okay start from symmetry one yeah and we will um, click on contour okay and we will increase the points to 100 and it is our streamline we can uh, see the animation of streamline too to see Okay, that was the, uh, mm, the tutorial of Flower Slender. If you like this video, please like and subscribe our channel. Thanks for your time.